<clears throat> What's going on guys? Man Cave here again and we're out in the uh, trusty uh, proving grounds. We're going to be running the saw back again. This time I've done some modifications to it uh, to give it more flex, which on the bench, yes it does work fine, but until the springs are completely broken in, it's still going to be a little tippy. But what I did is I replaced the stock shocks with a set of uh, SCX 10 shocks running full droop, meaning no springs on it whatsoever. And I dropped down to just a single leaf on all four corners and that seemed right there to make a huge difference. And today we're going to be running with a set of 1.9 rock locks on painted stock SCX 10s with weighted fronts, non-weighted rears because I have to compensate for the uh, battery weight in the rear, but here we go. We're going to see how this works. Look at that, it's actually got some flex now. Of course I'm going to be staying away from the waterfall today. Let me move you guys real quick. Still wants to lift that rear tire, but... Does have some good articulation. That sound you hear would be a uh, Black Hawk helicopter. I don't know if I can catch it in the trees up there. Well, folks, it seems like every time I turn the camera on, we've got yet another helicopter flying over. There's another Black Hawk. That's for good ambiance. Now back to the matter at hand. I don't think you guys have ever seen me drive this slow. You used to me beating everything to death. Just for some reason with this particular kit, 
it makes me want to go slow. Mm, a little deep. My electronics on this one aren't mounted very deep, so are very high. So every little bit. Try to check out the camera. Now this is probably going to be one of the much harder ones to do, seeing how this one isn't built with killer ground clearance. That bumper sticking out front might be a hindrance, but you never know. That skid's just hanging it up. We're gonna give it the hand of God, though. Look at that. Just a little bit of work, and it gets right back up on where it's supposed to be. But now we're in the bathtub. Well, one mistake will make or break you. Out, throttle out. Alright, now the last obstacle to climb is going to be undoubtedly the hardest. This is the wall. But if you look in front of it, there's uh, even more challenging places to go. And the last little bit's just a simple step ledge, but as you can see with the uh, added articulation this thing has now, it actually flexes pretty decent.
All right, so uh, I know in my last video, the pre-run review, and well, actually, the pre-run review video, I was uncertain of how it would do. And then the uh, first run I did of it with the uh, Mud Basher tractor tires, that actually went off pretty good. I was happy with that because, I mean, who doesn't want to see a Jeep going through the mud? But uh, overall, after doing the uh, leaf spring modification, um, I'm going to do a multitask here. I'm going to walk and talk with you guys. I got the truck turned off, and uh, basically we're going to make our way back to the side-by-side uh, -side down the woods. But uh, yeah, after adding uh, those SCX-10 shocks, running them in full droop, and... Uh, Switching over to a single leaf instead of uh, a traditional stack, if you will. Um, seems to be the ticket on it. And uh, I'd imagine if I was running tires that weren't as aggressive as the saw or the uh, rock locks, it'd be a little bit more challenging to climb things. Now, I do also have a set of uh, Mickey Thompson uh, Giant 1-9 Puller wheels and tires, the, uh, the bead locks and the tires. And I thought about getting stupid with this thing and uh, tearing it down a little bit and putting just a crazy, crazy brushless system into it. That way I can uh, turn it into basically an F off because hell, it's already a Jeep body. Do a little tube work, uh, tube work to the rear, solidify it so it's not just a plastic body, give it some actual substance to it, and uh, see what the, if it'll rip. And I know you guys are going to say, oh, when are we going to see this rig run? Inside the back of the side-by-side -side is the G6. Now, last time I had the G6 out, I was doing its initial run. I had a drive shaft that let loose on the front. Ugh. And this sucker here actually flipped over the other day. Me and my older brother were in it and uh, I was cutting donuts in it. Somebody put glue on my tires and we went over hard right side. But as always, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm really, really, really surprised and ecstatic with uh, the way that the uh, suspension turned out. Uh, that's all for now, guys. So as always, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, share. Um, I'm on Google+, Plus, part of the uh, RC car and truck discussion. So you can find me on there. I'm on RC Crawler as the man cave, and I'm also on the RC four wheel drive forums with the same name. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Later.